Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we just defeated Price, the gym leader. And I believe right now we have to go back to Goldenrod and go to the radio tower because there is some sort of thing that I think we got called to do. I, I haven't recorded this in a while, so actually, I, I just know that we have to go to the radio tower, maybe... I think I think uh, Professor Elm calls you about it and all that jazz. So we gotta go all the way back to Goldenrod. I shouldn't. I don't have anything to fly. Um, I probably should catch a Pidgey when I go back, but I'm not gonna make you guys watch me go back to Goldenrod like this. So uh, I'll just I'll just meet you guys there. All right, I am back here in Goldenrod City. The radio tower is not that way. And oh, 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 I know oh, I know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I have to go get the costume. Check out here, get out of my way. We as gym trainers were never allowed to market to do nasty things in our city. What do you mean by nasty things? You you guys being nasty here. Just nasty people. <laughs> okay, um Alright, so I can't go into the radio tower. I guess I should show you guys that I can't go into the radio tower because, you know, how would you ever know? Maybe I'm not telling the truth. You know, so when we go in, um, this guy will be here and, you know, he won't let us in. So we have to be, uh, he gives like a little hint of what you have to do. And let's see, it says, do you understand? You're only allowed to come through when you're wearing the cool black uniform for Team Rocket. So, uh, you have to go get a Team Rocket costume. And to go get the Team Rocket costume, we have to go down into the... Uh, I don't know what to call it. Just underground. Just go underground. We can go here. I think this way's faster. Or no. Is this the... St I got yeah, alright. So, you gotta... If you come down here, you go all the way up. Uh, and you talk to this guy... He says, are you a newcomer too? So I guess this, this, this is where they're sending the, the recruits. So this guy got confused and he's going to give us a uniform. He'll let us quote unquote borrow one. And so now we look like Team Rocket. So, oh, but you didn't try to scare people walking around looking like that, okay? Sure. Now we're a part of Team Rocket. We've gone to the other side. <laughs> All right, so now that we have the costume... Or the uniform. We can go into. We can go into. We can go here, no problem. Um. I actually should check my bag first if I have everything I need. I have potions. Revives. I don't really need Pokeballs here. Okay, so I have potions and stuff, so I should be good. Um. I could sell those nuggets though. I'll do that afterwards. Alright, so once you talk to this guy now, you must be new, you look pretty good in the Team Rocket uniform, go on ahead, and then once we start walking up, here's Tyson. He says, hey Team Rocket, I'm going around in groups and show me people, you cowards. And then he recognizes us, huh? Are you Kevin? What are you doing here? No way. You think you're strong now, you look like them? That's foolish, you shouldn't wear those things. So then he takes it off of us, and then this guy wants to get all pissed and like, he just battles us. And then we go in, like, just, I beat you in a battle, you're still gonna let me, you still shouldn't let me in, but he lets me in anyway, but, alright, so Eradicate versus Gengar, that's not a good matchup for either of us, I mean, I do have, yeah, this is not a good matchup for either of us, um, we go to Croconaw, destroy this thing with a surf, scary face that lowers speed, okay, whatever, Hyper Fang. I hate that move, Hyper Fang. I never really know what, how much damage it does. It's like, oh, and it made me flinch. All right, here we go. See, th this thing is gonna kill me now, right? Um, uh, no, it won't. Oh, Sucker Punch. That's not gonna kill me. Yeah, no way. All right. And now I'm about to send another Radicate. Oh, man, I wish I had a fighting type move. That would be nice. I could teach Golem a fighting type move, I think, if I get a fighting type TM at some point. Let's just go into Golem. 
Because I don't want to have to deal with that high damage. Um, high damage Hyper Fang. So Rock Throw doesn't take it out. And maybe Flinch. Let's go Rock Blast. Alright. So he runs away inside. Oh, that's what happens. So, yeah. He's going to let us handle this. He wants to go back and get his... Get handed by Lance again. Um, right. Now I gotta waste a freaking potion in the beginning of this whole freaking place. There's a lot of trainers here, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna try and speed up through the trainers because most of these early trainers don't really. Did I try to run? Can't run. These trainers don't really mean much. Um, I mean. They're easy to take out. I mean, there's a bunch of Rattatas and Zubats, like always, so... Let me bite this one, just because... That's a level 30. Wants to learn Crunch. Awesome. So, Crunch is basically Bite, but just stronger. So, we're gonna take out Bite. And we learned Crunch. And this Rattata is gonna get a nice hand of our... Or a new move. Look at that. Bigger bites. Like we're biting down rocks. Alright, no problem for us. Oh, and Croconaut is evolving. I almost pressed the B button. Because I usually press the B button when, um... I don't press A because I don't want to talk to the grunts. Since they're, like, trainers by accident and stuff. And now we have a Feraligator. Awesome. Our second fully evolved Pokemon. And want to learn agility. Do we really need that? For alligator, do you? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, Alright, headbutt, crunch, surf, ice fang. Not going to learn ag agility. Don't need that crap. Alright. So, I I am going to fight all the... Uh, all the... Um, all the trainers, so... I'm going to make you go to sleep. Then I'm going to confuse you. I'm just gonna nightshade a few times. So that if you do wake up, you hit yourself in confusion, and I win. So Gengar gets a ton of experience. Almost level 30. And I, do we get anything here if when we speak to these people? Wait, what? He says something about a password. Today's password help, of course. Wow. That doesn't mean anything. Alright. You can take care of this Zubat. And you use Confuse Ray on me, but that didn't mean anything. Because I'm too pro. Game Guard does not love these hoes. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let me go into... Golem. This, uh, this Quick Claw has been working very well for Golem. He's been going first a lot, so... Gengar, I think at level 32, I learned Shadow Ball. So... I'm just gonna... This this move doesn't really do much. Nightshade. I mean... I'll just... Oh, I need to disable it too. Alright, now you're cursed. You sludge on me for whatever reason. I'm gonna use a potion on myself. And you're still gonna get cursed. And I'll confuse you for the heck of it. So that maybe you can hit yourself. Sludge, that's not gonna do anything to me. I can't even get poisoned, so. And now you're dead. Next is Grimer. I'm just gonna go into Golem here, use Magnitude. And look at I got the Quick Claw again. Amazing. Muck. Muck should go by the wayside. As long as I get anything. Oh, Magnitude 10. I was just about to say, as long as I get anything above, if I get 8, 9, or 10, it should take out Muck, no problem, and lo and behold, magnitude 10. And I know, did I, did I say that Feraligator was my second fully evolved Pokemon? I have four fully evolved Pokemon. <laughs> I just need a Firestone for Growlithe. Um, man, I just realized I might struggle in the Elite Four. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, next four... Not as many trainers. 
and I'm not gonna show I'm just gonna for all these trainers that have like freaking multiple things I'm just gonna oh it's really smoke screen I'm just gonna like show when I win it all right yeah All right, so got that battle done with. Um, who got messed up? Um, Golem got poisoned. So yeah. Uh, and maybe I'll give him a potion too. I'll give Golem two potions, and I'll give Feraligatr one potion. All right. So here's another trainer. Is it a quick one? Kind of, I guess. Um, let's do a couple of nightshades and now I'm paralyzed. There you go. Another Magnemite. Let's go to Growlithe. Another Magnemite. And got up to level 31, wants to learn Takedown. Takedown is a good move. Um, Takedown is a good move, but I get recoil damage, and it's not very accurate. Flame, I'm actually happy with the moves. I'm probably never going to use that move anyway. I have Bite and Reversal already. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll pass on Takedown. Alright, I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center. Alright, I'm back on this floor. Um, We got this guy to beat now, too. Let's see what you got. I mainly went back. Ooh, wheezing. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna hypnosis you, and that didn't work. And assurance sticks out a lot because that's a dark type move. Um, or is it a ghost type move? Not sure. These things have levitate, right? I wish I had psychic. Right, like right now. <laughs> um. Oh well. Um. Let's go into. Let's go into Feraligator. Doesn't I think Weezings have good? Wait, they have good special defense, don't they? Let me see. Surf. Oh no, it's good physical defense because that took out a lot. All right, we don't have any type of password or key to get in there yet, so let's go up more and let's beat you now. Uh, you have Zubats, I'm gonna quicken this one up. Alright. Took care of that guy. Uh, back to the bag, because I did get kind of beat up. Jesus. Alright, potion for Feraligator, and a potion for Ampharos. Okay. You, sir, what do you have? You have one Pokemon, Porygon, so this should be quick. Uh, I do have Reversal on Growlithe, so maybe... Growlithe, uh, what are you, a Fire-type now? Oh, Electric-type. It's random. Reversal... It's not gonna take out as much, because I'm going first. But... Actually, it didn't take out anything. I know Reversal... Wait, does Reversal give that a... Oh, you're a, oh, a Psychic-type now? That was a mistake. <laughs> Alright, let's try and bite again. There we go. Goodbye, Porygon. And Gengar Girl has got good experience for that. Alright, what else is up here? Alright, oh, here's another... You... You don't battle. Do I? Oh, yes! Dang it. Well, that's actually good. But you have a lot of Pokemon, so I'm going to speed this one up. Not speed it up, I'll just skip it for your guys' sake. <laughs> Alright, so we took care of this girl here, and this guy got freaking paralyzed, the Growlithe, so let me go ahead and get this dude paralyzed heal. Alright. And I really, really want Gengar to get some moves because I can't really use him much because the only damaging move that I have. Oh snap, I'm already up here. The damaging move that I have is just, um, is only a, a Nightshade, so that's not going to work. So we're going to talk to this person here, and uh, this is not the end. Yeah, we're up here already. 
talking to this guy, but this is just the part where we fight all the admins that we did before. So, so we have petrol. No, no, no! I was pretending to be the director to influence the entire region to support Team Rocket. This time I won't hold back. Give me all you got. So we already beat this guy once. Uh, I forget where. This this wasn't the guy that was in the most recent Team Rocket hideout, right? Couldn't have been. Level 30 though. Let's go into for alligator. A couple of surfs should be no problem. Don't tell me that surf missed. And I'm poisoned. Gotta be joking. Just surf. Yeah, no problem. Now I am. Oh, you're already going into wheezing. I'm not gonna switch. Try to get his boss. All right, bag. Let me use super potion. Use sludge. Now I'm going to use an antidote, and then I'm gonna heal again. Hopefully, sludge doesn't kill me. Actually, I'm gonna hyper potion. I'm saying hopefully, hopefully sludge doesn't poison me. All right, good. So a couple of surfs, a couple of surfs to wheezing should do it. Oh uh, yeah, three surfs, whatever. And oh, this one paralyzed me. Don't miss this one. I know you got smoke screen once. Nice. Oh, like a boss for alligator. One HP. All right, Amphros, let's go. Your turn. Alright, so this charge. The reason why I'm showing this battle is because um this is uh one of the admins, so and another coughing. <laughs> um and I'm not gonna switch because this guy's gonna get killed if I try to switch into him to get him to level 30. Um If I get him to try to get him to level 31, so What? Am I losing? Yes, like always man. Like always. Oh wait, dude. Oh, that was a... He's a physical attacker. Oh well. Yeah, there you go, Growlithe. Alright. So listen carefully, we stashed the real director in the other ground warehouse. It says it's at the far tunnel, far end of the Goldenrod Tunnel. I know exactly where that is, he gave me the base gave us the basement key. So yeah. Um for alligator survived and the poison faded away. That's what I like about this game. Your Pokemon don't faint for poison anymore. I know it just doesn't feel right because I know back in the day, poison was like a big deal and you had to like freaking either rush to the Pokemon Center or your Pokemon <laughs> basically fainted. But nowadays, it just fades off after one HP, so which is not too bad, I guess. Alright, so now we got that done, the radio tower, now I'm going to save it, and what we're going to do next, we're going to get the real director back into the radio tower, and uh, that's underground. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Heart Gold, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.